Um, for your organization, you also need to think about um, is there a strict chronology? A lot of processes uh, have, have a strict chronology. Some of them, maybe not so much. But, but for some processes, uh, you have to start with A before you can move on to B. Um, other processes, there's not a strictly defined chronology. For example, um, some people, when they put their shoes and socks on in the morning, they put on both socks, and then they put on both shoes. Other people might put on uh, a sock and then a shoe, and then move to the other foot and do a sock and then a shoe. It's a very simple example, but it shows you how, um, even though for us it may feel like there is a defined uh, chron uh, chronology for doing something, um, not always that way. But the most important thing, and especially when you're, when you're doing that outline, is to make sure that you have all of the steps accounted for. Also, doing an outline can help you note where there may be problem areas, and you can highlight those. If there are problem areas, tricky areas, um, areas where um, your audience may make a misstep or should use caution, you can highlight those, and you need to make sure that those are highlighted within your text. Because um, it can help you to warn your audience you know, where those difficulties may pop up. Uh, and finally, the use of transitions is key in the process analysis. The transitions especially can help your audience um, to know how to do or, or when to do each of the particular steps. Words like first, second, next, then, uh, before, after, meanwhile, and finally. Those words really help your audience to stay um, abreast of where they are in the process, or what's happening and when it's happening, um, and what follows, um, what processes. Um, so those are, are really key for your audience to really be able to follow your processes properly.